Greetings YouTube Nation, this is Charles Edgar Hampton here on behalf of the Variety Tube channel and what I'm going to do today is try to let you know how you can clean these little tiny holes all right, in the slide of your Glock. So anyway, again if you notice, I've taken this one completely apart. There are videos that will show you how to do that. I definitely would recommend all right, the Iraqi Veteran all right, Quadruple 8 or 888. Eight or whatever his videos are really great anyway moving on once you've gotten it apart you're definitely going to want to get down in here like I said these little holes and um, clean them out so let me show you how to do that it's really simple tear off some of the paper towel really that's all it is all right if you take it up and you roll it all right then what you're going to do is you're going to have a diameter of course, of paper towel that will allow you to get down in there. You're going to keep twisting it the exact same way. All right. Because if you start twisting it the other way, it may fray. So anyway, I've already done mine, so it's only a little bit of stuff that you're going to see on here. But it's always good to just keep it going. So anyway, that's all. I know that's something that's ridiculously simple, but you'd be surprised apparently why nobody maybe has or has not thought about it, but whatever. You're seeing it here, and like I said, it's getting all that good crud out. So, um, of course, if you need to go down the larger, all right, if I could get to see that some kind of way. Yep, where your firing pin actually goes, then tear out the larger section. So let's do that really quickly. So what I did for that next part is I just tore off a pretty decent section. It's probably about the same length of where I'm trying to go. And it's a little bit longer because, of course, once it gets down there, you got to remember you're still going to have to have a grip on it. Otherwise, it's going to be lost, and you don't want to definitely lose anything in that slide and try to have to get it out. That will suck. So anyway, I'm going to roll this up. I'm going to have to use two hands for that, so I'm going to have to drop this. So pardon me. After wrapping that up, then this is what I end up with. Now, I do not smoke, so I don't want anybody to be like, oh, yeah, of course you got an African-American. Of course it's going to know how to roll crap. No, I don't do that. So, you know, I would say, like, screw you or something, but it's not necessarily necessary. Anyway, you're going to take one end. Keep in mind, again, notice the diameter of this in relation to the diameter of the port, and you want them to keep... You want them to be about the same because if they're not, you're going to end up with a problem and it won't go all the way in. So anyway, as you're going and inserting, you do want to twist it as you go. You're going to push in, which I'm going to try to do. All right, still remaining. All right, on there. And again, you go the same direction as you twist and push and just continue to twist because what the twisting is going to do. And if you want to be, yeah, don't even try to be bold. And go the opposite direction. You can try it if you want to, but don't be upset with me if it goes bad and something breaks off. Yeah, you actually can see, all right, the paper towel in there as it twists, all right, around. So clearly, if you can't get everything going from where the firing pin goes back here, then you can go in through right here which is where you have your um, indicator as far as is around chambered or not. So, again, that's another way. So, we're going to do that. So, I just wanted to show you that's another way that you can access. So, again, just going down here. If possible, you can even see if you can try to make it twist over. But, again, you definitely want to be careful. Don't want to get any all right, paper towel stuck in there. Again, if you do, you're doing this at your own risk. And if you don't have sense enough to keep paper towel out of your gun slide, then, hey, that's your own fault. So, anyway... Um, these little simple things just allowing you to get down in there in places that you normally would not be able to get. You can use the same thing even for this tiny, 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 the extractor part. All right, if I can get that, which I have to go over here by darker background, focus there. All right, and I'll back up some. All right, but right there, that little tiny hole. All right, you can do the same thing for there. Of course, you'll just need a smaller piece of paper towel. Here's the part where the extractor pin was. Then you got to keep in mind the size of the extractor in relation to, again, the size of the thing of paper towel that you're going to use. All right, so just go on and flip the sucker over. And, of course, you're going to get right on in there. And, again, twist as you go down. You'll actually see it come out of this side here. 
Alright, and again, do remember to keep twisting in the same direction, otherwise it will cause a problem. So at this point, if you want, you can grab it, continue to twist, alright, and pull. But be careful, because again, you don't want it to rip apart. Alright, so you definitely don't want that to happen inside, wherever you're going to be doing. So again, like I said, I've already done mine, um, so I'm really just doing just some follow-up thoroughness but there you go that would be my recommended way for cleaning out those little tiny holes on your Glock after you've cleaned it otherwise and are still maybe possibly unsatisfied with what you're getting thank you Action, Call of Duty. Guys, no, uh, no draw of fire. Oh! Yeah, yeah sorry. It's okay. Because it said... Yeah, on, on the target, yeah. Yeah, so I was like... Okay. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. Sorry. It's okay, sorry. Not, not a problem. <laughs> it is about 9 o'clock, though, just so you know. Okay. Results. Hello, this is Charles Edgar Hampton. Just simply asking you to do two things. Number one, as I said, always shoot safely. If you notice, when I was talking with the gentleman, I tried to keep my muzzle pointed down range so that I did have a live round in the chamber. The one time I did turn it to the right, there was no one on the right. Everybody was behind me and to my left. The other thing is just simply asking you if you would give us a thumbs up if this video was helpful. Little clicks on YouTube go a long way. Adding things to your favorites or whatever, that kind of stuff. Again, a thumbs up really helps us out. Thank you. God bless. Goodbye. All right, folks. So anyway, got it all back together. Again, this is Charles Edgar Hampton on behalf of the Variety Tube channel. Hope that you had a great time and uh, safe shooting always. God bless and peace.